you too. What's up, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. And in this video, I did a comb over, taper on the side, basically a, 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 a taper fade, you know, did a comb over, hard part, all that good stuff. It was, uh, he has red hair. And uh, I, I just wanna say that I'm continuously trying to learn and get better at my craft. And I feel like with this video, I've done that. I, 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 I look back on my old videos, especially with the comb overs, and I really wasn't paying attention on the shape of the comb over, the shape, all right? And that's one of the things where I, I kinda like sat back, uh, watched a couple of videos, took notes from Jarrell, one of my barbers in the shop, um, and really just like practiced on the shape of you know the head and uh, i think i got a lot better you'll see that in this video um, i explain more on sheer work at the top um, i slow it down to where you guys can understand what i'm doing um, real basic real easy and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video um i did a lot of explaining and yeah man i just yeah sorry this video isn't like a full-on transition me just going in and out being different places and stuff like that i'm just sitting right here in front of the camera but listen you came to learn you're in school right now stay motivated man stay motivated the, the worst thing you could do is have somebody say something to you that, that discourage you and knock you off your your course all right stay on your course be willing to learn even if you're not that good right now it doesn't matter you get better with time all right, so don't let nobody tell you, oh, you suck right now. You suck. Oh, you suck. It doesn't matter. All right, I suck. Okay, that's cool. But I get better with time. I'm like, wine, baby. I'm going to get better, especially with you got the drive. You got the, the determination to get better, the, to, to keep that learning mentality, to never stop learning. If you got that, you go anywhere, man. You go anywhere. So, uh, yeah. I holla at y'all. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. I'm out. Peace. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna start off by prepping the hair first. I'm gonna saturate my client's hair with water on top, just the edge right here. I'm gonna put some duck clips in to lock it in place, then comb the hair down. That way, you know, everything is laying in its proper direction. So my client wanted a two on the sides. So I went ahead and grabbed my wall cordless senior with the two guard open and I'm going up, um, not all the way up, I'm just kind of running that clipper straight up, um, just rolling it off the side of his head. Now when it gets to the back area near the occipital bone, which is the back of his head, like it's, it's, right, it's that bump right in the back of your head, what you want to do is roll off of that. You don't want to bring it all the way up to the top. Um, cause it's gonna throw off the balance of his head. It's not gonna look right. It's not gonna give it that shape that you're looking for. So, um, kind of drop it in the back area near the occipital bone. on to clipper over comb I'm gonna set my comb at like a 45 a slight 45 degree angle and just take off every hair that's sticking out basically you want to match the bottom to the top and just try to visualize this as being a high top you want to always look to the side uh, kind of pay attention to what you're doing look at the side of the client's head and see if that shape is, is nice and smooth so Use 
using my Andis Cordless T Outliners, I'm going to be setting in the bald line in a rainbow like shape. Now I'm going to set this guideline a little bit above his ear, um, just a little bit because I want to bring this um, taper high. I want to make sure that this taper is kind of visible from you know a good distance. So um, that's just how I like to do my tapers, um, especially if the client doesn't mind a, 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 a nice stretch blend. Using my Babyliss Gold FX with the lever open, I'm going up a little bit more than a half inch. Um, I'm making sure that I keep that same consistency of that rainbow like shape um, as I'm, you know, beginning to fade. Now, with the one guard open, I'm just going up, kind of rolling it off of his head. Uh, still trying to keep it um, in that same width, um, but kind of just rolling off his head, hoping that it would kind of blend in to the uh, two guard that you set around this whole head. With the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Keep in mind, use your corners as much as possible. That way, you won't accidentally take off something on the other side of that blade. Now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now sometimes, um, depending on how you zero cap your clippers, sometimes these babbler's gold effects can't really get out the bottom line fully. Uh, so. Sometimes you gotta come behind it with either the Andis clipper or something that can really ball down. Now as far as the back goes, I do the same exact steps that I do on my side.
for right now, I'm saturating my client's hair with water. Um, we're gonna go and do some shear work. He wants an inch, uh, no, he wants a half inch taken off the top. So I'm gonna show you guys how I, um, you know, start from the front, work my way to the back by, uh, you know, doing some shear work. So the way I like to do it, I like to start at the front of the bangs, making sure I stretch the hair to the maximum potential, look at where I want to cut it, and then start cutting it off. Now I'm going to use that piece as a traveling guideline. I'm going to pick up some more hair, um, not too much, and just match it up to the, the first cut. I'm going to continue to do this throughout the entire haircut, is just bring up a little bit, match it to the front cut it off making sure I keep everything even Now I'm going to blow dry in style. I'm using that styling comb in a C motion, um, just bringing it in, cupping it out, and uh, making sure I put the blow dryer into the teeth of the uh, styling comb. So make sure you don't burn the hair by you know, going directly to the hair. Go to the comb uh, so you can stay away from the scalp as much as possible. So after I did the blow drying style, I want to put some pomade in my client's hair to make his hair, um, you know, really stay locked in into that look that I want. YouTube, this is the cut, and if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does my beats. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. His channel will be linked there. If you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, please check out the links in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is gz360. And my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.